And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora alone. That's right, Fiora is all alone in this deck list. There are three units, three Fioras, the three champs, and 37 spells for Fiora. And of course, standalone being among them. But it's basically just all Fiora and, you know, we're kind of a combo deck, all Fiora and um, removal and everything like that. You know, we have Judgment in here to be able to get the Fiora kill. Because if you don't know Fiora too well, uh, levels up after has killed two enemies. And then if Fiora has killed four enemies and survived, you win the game. Besides Fioras, we do have three Entreats to draw champions. So our opening hand, we need to look for Fiora and Entreat. We're going to be mulliganing. If we don't have a Fiora or Entreat, we're going to be mulliganing and looking for those. Because obviously we can't win the game if we don't have those. Um, and then, yeah, there's just all sorts of protection spells and everything else like that. Um, okay, so this is this is going to be a, a good one. This is a donation deck. That's the two Ds over here. If, for those of y'all watching on YouTube that don't know, the two Ds stand for donation decks. This is a viewer submitted list for uh, Meme Tier Monday. Which is, that's, that's what we got. <laughs> the, somebody in chat says, imagine trying to play standalone and the opponent uses Stalking Wolf. Yeah, they go turn two stalking wolf give you a, a little rabbit and then you just can't can't cast your standalone all right we got an entreat so that will be fiora it's a five mana fiora i think i should mulligan one of your fury of the north or repose i think i should mulligan one of them and it's reposed. So I don't think I should keep two four mana protection spells. And against a deck like Misfortune that has the ability to you know do like a little bit of damage, I think that the barrier card, like the value of the barrier is less, and so I'm keeping the Fury of the North instead of the barrier. Alright, they did nothing on turn one or turn two either. I could pass. I've seen, like, I could pass and see what they do, and then, you know, like, see if they play something, then I play Fiora. But I like getting, alright, so we got Fiora in play, that's good. And we're not doing 20 damage with Fiora, so, like, attacking, attacking doesn't matter. We're not doing 20 damage. Had them waste all their mana. Yeah, protect the queen. Cause if I attack, then they get then like they had they had all six mana, right? So like if I attack, then they get to just play something post combat. And I just didn't want to let them play something post combat. I thought that them like time walking them and, and not letting them like making them waste their turn. That was worth. Um, that was worth uh, three damage. I don't know if I'm just supposed to cast on Yielding Spirit here. I can't think of anything that they would do that would stop me with Unyielding Spirit. Mm. 
but I passed. Yeah, Fiora's our only is our only ally. Thirty-seven spells, three Fioras. I think they're scared of Fiora. Yeah, like what is this deck doesn't have anything for unyielding spirit, right? Can y'all think of any any way I get punished for this? Because I can't think of any way that it's just not worth it just to throw the unyielding spirit on this. I can't think of any way. Like anything they can do. They, they can steal my cards. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, we do want to take heart. That That is the problem. We want to take heart, but oh well. No, there's nothing I can do either. Just make unyielding 14 mana problem solved. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If they if they try to go wide around Fiora, we got judgment. So <laughs> I'll be surprised if we lose this. They they probably need to steal like they need to steal my flash freezes and stuff. Like that's 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 where we could lose, I guess, is if they keep stealing like brittle steals, flash freezes, harsh winds those kind of cards. Safety will cost you. And I guess they're they're gonna try to level up Sejuani. Alright, well they are gonna burn this card. Good. Get Yordle Grifter out of here. All right, one out of four. Burn another card? Go ahead. You don't keep burning cards? Dangerous water. <laughs> oh, that is dangerous water. All right, I have nine in hand. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. Bless is motion. Sweep the left. Is this supposed to be a challenge? I definitely feel like they have Frostbite. That's their plan with attacking like this. I feel like they have a Frostbite card. Which I don't have the advantage to do Judgment plus Fury or Riposte. That was their plan. Love 
love ya. Left foot, left foot. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Be quick. Hell of a day. Okay, we just need one more. Just need one more kill. That's a great draw. Going after the 3 3, not the 2 4. Going after the 3 3 because then Repost also is a win. So, like, we have Fury of the North and Repost and Fury of the North. No. I guess. They have my repose though. Um, judgment. Should work. All right, death, death by a thousand cuts. Or five cuts. They will know Victory! Okay. It looks like this deck's pretty good against against that Misfortune deck, how they don't have an answer to Unyielding Spirit. Fiora does have a pretty cool win animation. Oh, I, I have the Fiora emote. I should use the Fiora emote, shouldn't I? Yeah, you really don't want to see Ionia. Of course, you do not want to see Will of Ionia at at all. Okay, good. This is a good matchup. They're trying to play a bunch of little things. Doesn't mean that we're going to win. I'm just saying, like, if we have a good hand, it's a good matchup. Come on, Fiora. Oh, no. Oh, and Treat. Okay, never mind. We got Fiora. Oh, Purify is good against They Who Endure. Yeah, um, outs to Will of Ionia, or sorry, Unyielding Spirit. Um, purify if it's on a follower. Uh, if it's not on a follower, uh, you, yeah, you said you said Will of Ionia. Strong arm, strong arm only works on followers, also, right? I think. Um, detain, detain's like the main. Detain's like the other one that like people play besides Will of Ionia. Tain's definitely an out. They would fall by my blade. By my blade. My they will fall. Yeah, calling the Demacia board underrated. I do like I do like the Demacia music. Yeah, this is an underrated board. I agree. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Hmm. All down. I long for a world just the way I like it. Fiora alone. Dang. Glimpse Beyond. Glimpse Beyond's definitely annoying.
I'm glad we have the judgment if they go wide. Oh yeah, vengeance. Yeah, vengeance would be bad. Why would you sack? Why, why are we sacking a 3-3 three three instead of a 1-1? One one? Oh. They're just going to level up this uh, right now. So they what? Get a 3-3 three three back? I don't know if that's rude. I never tried to. No, stop having lips beyond. Ugh. It's like the one annoying card. Be able to bank the three spell mana, so we'll have Unyielding Spirit, so we don't have to worry about Vengeance. Need to make sure to do that. Nothing escapes my watch. Soon. Mm. Could just cast the last turn. It's good for Fiora to have a little bit of damage on, on it, though, right? Because if we find uh, Take Heart. Stop. Come on, play Vengeance. 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 Yeah, so that was the third. I should just be casting my unyielding spirit like on, on my turn. I shouldn't be trying to get the vengeance value. I should just be casting it. Okay. Um get to draw a card. Alright. Fair enough. If I would have just cast it earlier, I would have had Judgment available, but I didn't. Two down. So they 
Can't have Glimpse Beyond anymore. No, I mean, I... I... I'm the one that I should have... Um, I should have played this on Yielding Spirit just before. I could have had Judgment. Or or just even wait. They were tapped out of Vengeance mana, so I could have just even kept Judgment. Anyway. I want to win with Judgment. Let's win with Judgment. And this is where they go. Atrocity. Thinking they're like, ooh, I got this. Atrocity. And nope. Come on. There's the Orko. They will no match. <clears throat> All right, Fiora alone. Two good matchups so far with opponents not playing Will of Ionia. They cast two atrocities on me that game, and they dealt three total damage with two atrocities. Is that even, like, possible? Two atrocities dealing three total damage. What do I think of these two cards? I think I should have re-rolled the take art. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. I need just a moment. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. We shouldn't draw both these judgments. I'll cut them apart. Face me. I'm gonna play something smaller for yeah for the take art. I long for a worthy opponent. Still see far and clear. So that enables take heart, but obviously I can't take heart against a 5 1.
I just didn't have confidence in judgment this turn. I could have not played anything last turn and, and had judgment, but I just didn't have confidence in that with them just having, you know, a frostbite card to completely... Like, I would just lose the game on the spot if they would have had a frost... if I would have gone for that in frostbite card. Um... Is there any unit more wholesome than Fiora? Probably Braum, right? Braum's got to be the most wholesome Pain unit. Is nothing. Oh, darn it. I just lost this. Yeah. Basically, I should not have played. My take heart that I played was really bad. That was that was bad playing the take heart whenever I did. I because I could have just used the brittle steel like I did. Um, I didn't want them to like brittle steel back, but them brittle steel back is not the end of the game. That culling strike is the end of the game, and so I had to protect against culling strike. So I made I made a mistake. <clears throat> no pure yeah purify does not work on champions. So no, I cannot purify my own card. Oh wait, entry set champion. Never mind. <laughs> Tricky deck to play. And times. So I want to um, only spend two mana next between this turn and next turn. I want to spend just two mana. So that's one of it. So I can only spend one mana next turn. So like Elixir of Iron. To be able to unyielding spear at the Fiora. I'm not going to be doing any challenging here. We're just going to uh, pass. Uh, you yeah, know, worst comes to worst, we'll have repost. You know, I'm, I'm just not going to risk it. No oh, why did I pass? They're just not going to attack. Yeah, they just didn't attack. I never. Oh, God. Just, just played it. Should play that last turn. Wasted a bunch of mana. <clears throat> I do like that we have the three single combats. anything yet. Oh, Devour of the Depths. That's a problem that I hadn't quite considered. That's a problem. Oh, I guess we could just fight it. Fight. Well, you're right. 
to devour. fight the other one yet. Just in case something goes wrong here, we'll have a backup single combat. Obviously I could do the two elixir of irons. I know. But I wanted to do the repost because I wanted to kill the thrash. We just kind of had good mana for repost, combat, combat. Get over here, spider. So I don't really want to draw a repost, right? Like I already got plenty of repose. So maybe I should cast this intrigue because I don't really want to draw a repose. That's a problem. That doesn't make any sense to do that. Like that's about it. These elixir of irons and chain vests, not, not good enough. Alright, two and two.
<clears throat> the file feast your own two one and also the atrocity the one one both of those killing their own thing those hurt but um i don't know if there's like a way for me to be able to kill that uh I think I just drew the take heart that turn. I don't think there was like a way for me to get to like 13, 14, 14 power with the Fiora. Like if I would have done something else the turn before, I don't think I could have got to 14 power with Fiora to fight and kill Nautilus. I don't think. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, if if I would have not killed Thresh with the single combat and just held on to it, I could have double single combated. Yeah. That's That's kind of something you know, it's kind of difficult playing all sorts of different decks like I do cuz that's just, you know, a scenario and everything that I just don't really didn't really consider to be honest. But, you know, after playing that matchup once, now next time we play this Fiora deck, Everyone you know, we would kind of we'd right remember ride. that and, um, you know, therefore have, you know, be more ready for that kind of stuff. Um, but that's why, uh, you know, those of y'all watching, you know, here Twitch and Twitch, y'all on YouTube also. Hopefully y'all are learning as well. And so, you know, you try this deck out later and you have those experiences to um, go on. You know, like that's, that's the whole point. We're learning together. All right, so Hecarim, Vladimir, they're... Oh, yeah, yeah, they who endure is Frel Yorts. Yeah, we don't have to worry about they who endure. So, yeah, let's just purify this thing. Such unrefined style. Don't really have to worry about the Hunter. No, take art. Strike quick rhyme. Alright, well, I'm not gonna cast standalone first, because we want my Fiora to be damaged because of take art. <laughs> Too easy. Well, Nautilus has tough, remember. I need the reputation. But I just drew like the reason why my Fiora was seven power, because I believe I just drew Take Heart that turn. Let's just pass. I don't wanna I don't wanna like take heart this right now during my turn and then they untap with their seven mana and just cast vengeance and then I was like wait why did I just waste this take heart? Teach me when you have time. I'll think about it. Can't kill them both with single combats. I should be casting a treat, because they're obviously not going to attack. I should be casting a treat right now with this two mana. That's a really good draw, the Unyielding Spirit. My friend. Don't have to worry about Vengeance. Remember your lessons? Teach me again, just to be sure. Mm. 
We'll just do this first and do these single combats next turn. Remember your lessons? Teach me. When you play decks like this, you wouldn't just play around sure. stuff like Nautilus Riptide. It's too difficult to play around. Remember your lessons? Um, Teach me again. Just yeah. to be sure. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what I was doing, right? <laughs> I love a man with style. Heard it all before. Look what you did. That's pretty cool. So we went three and two. Another victory for House Laurent. It's a pretty interesting deck to play. We are in a pretty mid rangey format, and this deck seems good in a mid rangey format. Um, we didn't get paired against any Ionia decks, which was really good because Will of Ionia is a nightmare. Um, but besides that, against all these decks with no Will of Ionia. Uh, we really look like we're positioned very well against them. Both of the losses that I had were um, somewhat to some inexperience and could have had some some different lines to help us out. But there's a lot of power. This is this is the kind of deck that's really difficult for just if, if you're just playing uh, units to the board and attacking with units, which is a whole lot of decks. But if you're just doing that, it's super hard to get through. Um, Fiora plus 37 spells to protect Fiora. I guess 34 because Intrigue isn't that. So it's really hard to get through that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I was uh, surprised how easy it was to find Fiora. I thought that we would struggle with only having Entreat and Fiora. I thought that we would struggle finding those cards. And no, we had them um, every single game. We either had Entreat or Fiora. Um, you know, basically in our opener every single game, because if, if not, we mulliganed all four cards and then we had it. So, um, yeah. Um, and Purify was pretty decent. I wasn't sure about Purify, but it was pretty decent. Great against They Who Enter. I think it could probably just be a one of. Um, let's see. Anything else in this that's missing from this deck? Um... I want like I wonder if this deck could use like one like one purify one relentless pursuit give you that extra attack with Fiora basically relentless pursuit being like a a bad single combat kind of thing either that or or honestly probably more like it uh, concerted strike because it is really nice being able to use removal with Fiora and get those kills. And so I wonder if like one of these purify should be a con concerted strike. It does say two allies strike it, but it can just be one ally strike it. So it's it's you know you just strike. It costs five mana instead of two. It's expensive. I'm pretty sure you can use concerted. Strike. I've I'm pretty sure I've used this with just one ally before, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can. I, I thought like I thought I have played this with one ally before, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I have. Okay, drop rope says you can. Um, so, so yeah, I think I think I probably want one of the purifies to be a concerned strike and, and keep one. It's a card. Purifies a card you really don't need two of. Concerned strike's cool. All right, but there we go. So that's uh, Fiora alone. That'd be one one thing I would change there. Uh, those y'all watch on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you've been playing this deck, also leave those comments and just you know in general, feel free to leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Fiora alone, and I will see you for the next video.